Hi, welcome to lesson three. We're going to talk about one of my favorite topics today, the unconformity. In the 1700s, mid 1700s, really interesting thing was going on in Scotland. It was the Scottish Enlightenment. And in that Enlightenment were the conditions for great leaps academically. It was the first time maybe in Europe, that it became really in vogue to learn about science, values of inductive reasoning and learning from books, grammar schools, were extremely popular in the day. And as I say, that environment led to some pretty incredible characters and discoveries, the likes of Adam Smith, David Hume, and the person we're interested in, James Hutton. James Hutton was a, an all-around scientist of the day. He was a naturalist, a physician, and probably best known for being the father of modern geology. And his greatest finding was to do with an unconformity. Now, what is an unconformity? I keep using that word. I'll tell you how he found it. He went out in his rowboat near Edinburgh. He went to a place, rowed out there, these bare washed out rocks on a point. It's called Sicker Point, and any geologist will know it. It's the place where he found strata. You remember the layers of rock, sedimentary rock, going in one direction, and then immediately on top, they were laid the other direction, which is very strange because they certainly didn't get deposited that way. So what he thought was perhaps if the first set were laid down, the first, that first angle were laid down on some seafloor or lake bed, whatever, and then tilted up eroded, and then even more sediment laid on top. Perhaps that's how they got to be that way. But this was very exciting because just how can that happen? How do rocks get tilted up and moved over great lengths of time? It seems all very improbable. But the evidence seemed to be there in the rocks. And Hutton looked around at his environment very critically and it seemed to him that this must have taken inconceivable amounts of time. And he's really well known for a certain quote. And it's the way he ended one of his essays on this very subject. And it went, The result, therefore, of our present inquiry is that we find no vestige of a beginning and no prospect of an end. And that set off the movement called uniformitarianism. The idea that the earth is being constantly formed and created in a perpetual cycle, like a big organism developing over time. Which was a really interesting note because up to then it was pretty much accepted that the earth was very old and probably just 6,000 years according to the Bible. So now it seemed like we were getting some real clues that, hey, this is an old planet. And Hutton believed that it was essentially infinitely old. There was no beginning and there'll be no end. And the processes that we see creating rocks today, sedimentation and volcanoes, had been going on as long as time. Of course, waves and weather are washing all sorts of sediment, rocks, sand, mud into the oceans even today. And so this eternal cycle of rocks being created is still going. Hutton knew this. He just didn't know how long it all took. 